My name is Kamil Kumala, representing Avani Eco. We're trying to replace this uh, so-called petroleum-based plastic products back to what the nature has created. Undeniably speaking, plastic is convenient and it's very affordable, yet causes harm much more than 20 to 30 years. We're hoping that one day biodegradable products would be uh, the status quo, of course, for the use of plastic. These are 100% compostable and 100% biodegradable, made from industrial cassava starch. Here's a piece of a cassava bag in which I'm tearing apart and putting this into a slightly lukewarm water. Our cassava bag has passed oral toxicity tests and causes zero harm to nature. It's diluting almost spontaneously and within just one minute it becomes a green drink for a greener Indonesia. Cheers boys. <laughs>
to, 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 to check out what Bali was all about, you know? I was, I was promoting the island with much anticipation, telling them that, you know, dude, this is going to be so awesome. You guys are going to have a good time. But the reality was, Kev, what the is going on? Like, what the is wrong with your city, man? So, honestly, I was frustrated. And I actually took that moment of frustration and wanted to do something about it. So just one month after that, I set up what we called the Bat Cave. It wasn't really a Bat Cave for its you know, aesthetic features or whatnot, but it was literally a place where I pulled down you know, my closest friends and stakeholders to do research and development to really trying to combat this plastic epidemic using renewable resources. I'm so sick and tired of plastic, and these three other guys were so sick and tired of plastic, so we made a pact. We're gonna get together in this room. We're gonna spend 18 hours a day, seven days a week, and God knows how many years, and to find out what would be the best solution to combat this plastic epidemic. So we literally put sweat, tears, blood, literally and figuratively, because it was like bleeding all over the place, uh, and honestly, I had to kiss my social life goodbye. Um, you know, I was, my best friend was Mr. Test Tubes. My, best, my, my other best friend was Mr. Magnifying Glasses. So literally, I had zero friend, to be honest with you, for like three years. But fortunately speaking, after just two years into this research, we finally came up with this formula to come up with bioplastic. So what we finally pinpointed was that Making bioplastic is actually not that hard. I mean, you can actually go on YouTube today and go on YouTube and say, and, and, and put down a keyword research of like how to make bioplastic. You will find like thousands of them. So basically, uh, we actually found a lab scale method of creating bioplastic in just two years into the research. But the question is, how do we make this into mass production? So the creator, was in my favor. So we actually came up with a partnership with a, a, a crucial stakeholders in that we were able to create this bioplastic made from cassava starch and vegetable oil and was able to make this into the mass market and also mass production. So when people ask me what is the coolest thing about your bioplastic, I mean there's a list of like thousands of things that I can talk about my bioplastic and I can you know, talk days and days and days. So first of all, it's, uh, it's certified biodegradable, certified compostable. It's also recyclable. And the coolest thing is that this is the only bioplastic in the world that has passed our oral toxicity test. What does that mean? So when animals or living beings consume it, it has passed for certification in that it is harmless for them to do so. And that is the only bioplastic in the world that has passed for that particular oral toxicity test. Thank you. So as you can see as, as well, um, you know, we, can make, we can make a lot of applications. I mean, anything that is polyethylene based, we can do grocery bags, we can do poly bags, we can do uh, laundry bags, we can even do rain ponchos, it rains a lot in Malaysia. Uh, so yeah, everything about the bioplastic, anything that is uh, polyethylene based, we could actually convert this into anything that you can think of. The next big problem that I saw when I was you know, spending my time out in the ocean is plastic straw. I mean, we're in beautiful uh, you know, Malaysia. And let's take Malaysia, for example. You know, a population of approximately, I think, is 30 million people. Let's say 30 million people, and let's take a standard plastic straw that is approximately about 20 centimeter long. Let's say that one Malaysian consume about one plastic straw a day. So let's do the math. 30 million times 20 centimeter times one. That's approximately 6,000 kilometers of plastic straw being thrown away every single day. And you know what that is equivalent to? That is equivalent to where we are standing right now at Nibong Tabal, out to Sydney, being discarded every single day. Plastic straw. And that's only plastic straw. Don't get me started into like all these other plastics, man. That's only plastic straws. And that's a scary thing. So salvation in this case comes in a form of cornstarch. Uh, renewable resources that 
you know, we've been able to replace, uh, that it has been certified compostable. It feels like plastic, it looks like plastic, but it's not plastic. That's why it's, it's got, you know, hashtag I'm not plastic, to be able for our consumers to, to determine that it is actually not plastic, because, you know, these are definitely a different animal from plastic. Last but not least, this is also a star product. This is made from uh, bagas, or the waste of sugarcane fiber. I mean, I'm so sick of those styrofoam. You know, who's not sick of styrofoam, seriously? Like, those things need to be banned, like, all across the world, man. I mean, styrofoam causes cancer. You can't microwave the darn thing. You know, like, bagas, you know, we're, we're, we're turning waste and processing it into worth. And these guys right here are actually compostable within 180 days. So get this, once you throw this out in the landfill or even in your home composting facility, it will actually become compost for your nation. Instead of polluting the nation, if you use these and make this as a standard in your country, this will actually become a value added for your country. And we need to say, say no to plastic and also say no to styrofoam because styrofoam is not good. So. I mean, just, just to give you guys an overall picture, this is how Avani looks like. We, we offer you know, replacement to plastic using all plant-based material, which are, again, biodegradable and compostable. Because you know what? I'm so, sick of I'm so sick with plastic, and because plastic is really ruining our current landscape today and our future generations. So to put a ribbon on my talk today, I know you guys want to see this. You saw the video. So, you know, hopefully what I'm about to demonstrate today will definitely give you guys, you know, to shed some light at the end of the tunnel that, you know, there's actually hope to our mankind. And there's actually hope uh, for us to leave a green footprint for our future generations. So bear with me. Play some music. <laughs> Come on, play some music, man. <laughs> Let's get it going. Da -da -da -da. Should I should I beatbox? Da -da -da -da. Yeah, there you go. Superman got nothing on me. I am one call away. Call me baby if you need a friend. I just want to give you I got to I got to make sure that the water's, you know, not 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 too hot so that I can't, you know, drink it and it's not too cold either so that I, I don't have like 60 days to impress you. So basically, this is just this is about 50 50 degree, you know. I got to I got to Put it just right there, just nice at the 50 degree levels, 50 degrees Celsius. And I'm ripping the same bag that you guys have. This is this is no magic right here. I mean, this is the same bag. So I'm gonna rip that bag, which is pretty damn durable, and I'm pretty weak at the same time. So I'm gonna put that in that warm water, and then I'm gonna stir it. I'm not gonna say don't do it at home, but you know, you seriously, you can actually do this at home. And as you can see, if I keep on stirring, and stirring, and stirring, and stirring, within just 20 seconds, which was, you know, previously looked like plastic, has now become a green drink for a greener world. Cheers. Terima <laughs> kasih.